Hey guys, Andy Powers here at the Texas Pitching Institute right here in El Paso. Today we're going to talk about the towel drill. This is a very popular drill, but we're going to take it head on and challenge why I don't think it's a very good drill for pitchers and if there's a better alternative out there for you. I'll see you in a second. Okay, so let's talk about the towel drill. This is a very common drill that's been around for quite some time. And just like so many things that we do uh, in baseball, there's a lot of ideas that we can create that really actually make sense. But when you break it down to a biomechanical or to a uh, executable and fundamental, fundamental approach, uh, it really just doesn't do us the benefit that we think it's gonna do. And to me, the towel drill is a classic example of one of those. If you're not familiar with the towel drill, basically the concept is this. You take a towel, a dish towel, something that's maybe about that long and you're going to put it between your two fingers that you you normally throw the baseball with your index finger or your index finger and your middle finger and you're just going to make a throw and there's a lot of things that guys teach on this one of them is they're trying to snap the towel make it pop as it comes across there's other guys that also teach uh, will stand out in front of a pitcher with the towel quite a bit distance in front of them and trying to get them to hit their hand with it or they'll put a chair in front of them and they try to uh, slap the chair and it's all for extension purposes as well. Well, the truth is, is that there's so many things that go into a delivery that will uh, make the, the extension and release point happen as a byproduct of what you do. The towel drill and, and, and trying to get extension is just not going to accomplish that. But the biggest problem I see with the towel drill is that it creates what we call a linear deceleration. And basically what that means is, is that when your hand extends out to throw, that this is the position that your hand is in. The natural position that we want after we throw a baseball is for our hand to pronate. That thumb is going to rotate down towards the ground. With the linear deceleration, it basically just locks out and the hand and the palm is, is basically parallel to the ground. A couple of problems that this creates. I've seen it with some guys where they'll have the back of the elbow, maybe in a little bit of the tricep, but, but uh, especially right here in that like tricep insert right in the elbow, uh, will get, you know, start to experience pain and discomfort because imagine that you're accelerating at a high rate of speed and, and you just lock out. That's a violent act. What I see most of the time with guys as far as a lateral deceleration is that their bicep starts to hurt. If you've ever thrown a baseball and your bicep is bothering you, the very first thing I would look at if I were you is are you efficiently pronating? Are you doing this after you release the ball? Is your hand pronating? Because when you do that, it deactivates the bicep. So the bicep is no longer engaged when you do that. It takes a lot of the burden off of the bicep. So if the towel drill is not the most effective and efficient drill that we can use, is there an alternative? Well, I believe there is. My friends over at Oats Specialties have created what they call a training sock, and we use these a great deal. And what you'll do is basically you just put a baseball in the sock. And when you put your hand in the sock, there's a little loop that goes around your ring finger and your pinky finger. That helps to keep the bag on your hand. It also helps in the pronation process. But after that, you just take your strap and you tie it tight down around your wrist so that it won't fall off. When you do this, inside the bag is your thumb, your index finger, and your middle finger is freed up and available. So you can hold the baseball in your hand. Now I've got the baseball in my hand right now, and I'm going to bend it at the top of the ball. This is my hand top of the ball. So as you can see, there's about three inches of bag that's still left, and that's the design of it, because the idea is, is that when you throw, that you can actually throw a baseball. This has a ton of benefits to the things that, is, that, that we use this for. In one regard, you literally can play catch with yourself, uh, and, and so that's always a cool thing. You can use this in your bedroom at home or at a hotel when you're on the road. You can use this for a lot of ways just to get some throwing in in an incredibly small amount of space. The other thing about it, though, is that when you throw this, the bag almost forces your hand to pronate as it hits the bag. It's at the, the end of the bag, and that's definitely what we want as well. And the final benefit to having the training sock is that when we throw a baseball, once the ball has left our hand, then the only thing we have left to, th to slow down is our arm and then part of our body, uh, and which is uh, important and, and violent enough. But when you're using the training sock, not only do you have your arm and your body to continue to slow down, down, but you also have the ball and you have the bag and you have the energy in the ball to also have to slow down. So what that means is, is it further activates and get your brakes going so that you have to expand and grow those even more. So this is what quickly it's going to look like. And if you do it right, you're going to hear that pop at the end of the bag because that's going to be the ball hitting the bag. That's what we want. It's right. 
right there. And then when you throw, you should feel that pronation, okay? Hey, if you found this video to be helpful for you, make sure that you sign up to my page. Guys that are part of my page are gonna get videos like this first before everybody else and I release it to the general public. I'm gonna also put a link on this uh, video to where you can go directly to get more information on the training sock as well. I highly recommend this tool as being part of your arsenal in your toolbox of what you do in your training in general, getting loose before games and practices as well, all right? So, hope that helps. I'll see you down the road.